part three of making this chef's knife. On a side note, I smell strongly of rosemary because I just got done doing a photo op for last episode on this thing. And I'm not complaining, rosemary is an amazing smell. But I digress. Anyway, our next step is sanding this down, polishing it up, making it nice and shiny, and then taping the blade. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so I have a few options as far as wood is concerned. So, I have maple. I can use maple again. Um, if I do use maple, I'm going to use it in this nice flat form because handle scales are what I'm going to do for this project because I already have done a couple of fit-ups that have been a bit disastrous and it's been a while since I've done handle scales and I just want to do some pins. I really miss doing pins, so I think I'm going to be doing that. So I'm either going to use this maple or I'm going to use this alder wood. Now I like alder wood. It is a nice, decent, all around nice wood to use. Um, it's a little bit darker than maple as you can see, and this piece is already pretty much the shape that I need it to be. So I'm thinking I might cut this one in half this way, just because, I mean, it already almost fits in the hand perfectly, so I think I'm probably going to cut it in half this way, cut off a piece, shape it down to the right size, glue it on both sides, tack on a couple of pins, and uh, I think I'll call it good. circular saw. I did a little bit of touch-up work with a jigsaw, but I had to use some clamps for that, clamps I usually have holding the camera, and it also looked kind of dangerous, so I would just not encourage that for any of you. Anyway, I just got done cutting these out, so I'm going to use a belt sander to pare them down even further and get them to their final shape, but before I do anything with those, I'm going to have to make some pins out of this rebar. It's some pretty good stuff. As you can see, I've already made pins out of it before, so I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing again. Um, yeah, the same process, different story. So hopefully it goes well. I'll probably need about that much length, just judging by the thickness of these scales. So with that, I guess it's time to get back to work. <laughs>
knife is dry and it is out of the clamps, time to take a look at how the glue went. Just sort of peel back the tape and see how well it all held. Alright, so, as you can see there's not too much spillover. Uh, looks pretty good. I already shaved off some around the uh, sides of it, just sort of make the sanding job a little bit easier. So there's a little bit of stuff sticking out here, but I will just sand that out. I will keep the blade taped, that way it doesn't scratch up the surface of the sandpaper. So with that, I guess it is time to get sanding. So, I just got done belt sanding the handle, did a little bit of hand sanding on it as well. And I've also decided on a stain. I'm going to be using red chestnut because it looks kind of cool. I was going to do dark walnut, but then I mixed up the red chestnut and I figured this looks amazing. So, I'm going to use it. So, as you saw, I just stained the handle up. It is looking absolutely spiffy. In my spare time, I decided to do some hand sanding on the blade, made it nice and shiny, gave it that nice little mirror polish. I'd say this is so far the best knife that I've ever made. I'm really proud of it. I think it came out well. So with that, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day.